Hi everyone, and welcome to 30 Days of Art, episode 12. Today I'm going to be doing a very special video. Instead of just covering one topic of discussion, I'm going to be answering as many frequently asked questions as I can throughout this entire video. I'm also collaborating on this artist tag with a bunch of wonderful artists that I met here on YouTube, so please check out my description below to see their videos. So let's begin. First question is, what's your favorite experience as an artist? Um, I think my favorite experience is just the day-to-day -day simple joys. Um, I love just being able to create art in my studio, painting and drawing while listening to good music and drinking coffee and chilling with my animals. Question two, what is your least favorite experience as an artist? Um, Probably dealing with the stress of shipping packages. Um, anything from running out of mailing tubes at the crucial moments, or finding out that a package has been lost or damaged, or waiting for months on end for an international package to clear customs. It's always scary to send out your precious art babies on these long, treacherous journeys around the world. Question three, what is your favorite medium and why? Uh, oil painting, hands down, because it feels like spreading butter on a canvas and there's just like a richness and luster to it that is unparalleled. Question four, what did you learn from being a full-time artist? Um, I learned that you need to have tough skin and learn how to grow a business. Um, you'll need a plethora of project management, tech, and business skills, but none of that is as important as genuinely focusing and practicing on improving your artistic skills. Um, learning the foundations of how to draw and paint well, as well as practicing how to be creative and come up with your own distinct style, um, because that's kind of what captures your audience and makes you stand out, and in the end it's going to be what helps you earn income. Number five, what do your friends and family think about you being an artist? <laughs> this is interesting. Well, my family currently is very supportive. I think initially they were a little bit scared that I was going into this self-employed industry where I had no experience. I think they were just worried about me making sure that I could earn enough money to support myself. And now they're very supportive. Um, they see that I can support myself and I think they're proud of me, which makes me very happy because I love my parents. Um, and in terms of friends, most of my really close friends who, you know, I've been friends with for years, a lot of them I met in college or I met them while I was working in tech, um, they know me really well and they're extremely supportive. And to this day, like, they're so sweet. They always insist on buying prints from me. They never just accept gifts. And, um, yeah, I'm so grateful for friends like that. I also have some friends not so close friends who I don't think really understand the industry that much and I think sometimes they ask me to do work for free like they'll ask me to paint them a huge painting for their housewarming party gift or something like that which like I do gift art to my friends but I think some of them don't understand how long it takes and how much work it takes to make a painting so whenever people ask me for like huge paintings or murals or something for free um, it makes me a little uncomfortable and then I have even <laughs> some worse friends. Uh, I shouldn't even call them friends because they're people that I don't really know that well. Um, people who like I meet at parties or acquaintances who when they hear that I'm an artist, they don't think it's a real job. They don't think I have a career or that I work hard. They honestly just assume that I bum around all day and I make my boyfriend pay for everything, which is completely untrue. I work really hard. I pay my own bills. I pay my fair share. And yeah, so it, there's a range of support level depending on how well people know me. I think the people who know me really well and are really close to me are super supportive, which makes me really happy. Question number six, was becoming an artist your childhood dream? Yes, it has always been my childhood dream. Question number seven, what advice can you give to people who want to be more artistic or creative? I think the best piece of advice I can give is do not be lazy. It takes a lot of hard work and years of practice and you cannot expect immediate results. So when people ask me like, how do I get better at drawing? How do I get better at painting? There's really nothing I can say to make you better magically overnight. It honestly comes down to practice. And when I say practice, I mean like you're probably not going to see results 
in just one day it or even a week or even a month it takes years like I've been doing art since I was five years old and I still don't think I've reached the level of a lot of other artists who are my age who um, you know I am inspired by so it takes a lot of practice a lot a lot of practice and patience question number eight were you supported to pursue art as a child um, yeah, actually, when I was a child, like a young child, I definitely was. My parents were very supportive of my artistic interests, and they bought me art books and always encouraged me to practice drawing. Um, but when I got older, I think towards the time when I was starting to apply for colleges, um, I was encouraged to take a more pragmatic approach and think of more, I guess, secure careers. Uh, question number nine. Do you make money off of your art? Uh, yes, I am very lucky to say that I am a full-time artist and I do make money and make a living off of my art. Number 10, what do you want to improve on or aspire to be with um, in terms of your future art? Well, I would love honestly to continue to get better at painting. Um, I would love to just learn how to render skin and anatomy and eyes and hair and everything to a, a very realistic but also very interesting looking level. I would love to continue to evolve my style and tell more stories. Um, basically everything I'm doing now I would love to continue doing and, and get better at and another thing I'm really wanting to do in the future is hopefully grow my business to a large enough state where I don't have to um, worry about finances or you know worry about like putting in 12 hours a day every single day and having no weekends and no breaks just because I'm so worried about whether or not I can make it through the month I would love to be able to take a break take a mental break and yeah I think right now I'm just feeling a little overworked sometimes and feeling like I'm gonna burn out so Eventually with my art career, I would love to be stable enough that I can afford to take breaks. Um, question 11. What is your favorite thing to paint and why? Well, I love to paint weird girls and not just regular girls. They have to be weird like they belong to a dark fairy tale or something. Um, question number 13. What would you tell your younger self? Well, I would tell her to consume as much art as you can because there's so many beautiful artists out there on social media and in the internet and, and in libraries and just try to go to as many galleries and read as many art books and view as much art as you can because that to me is such a great source of inspiration. Be patient and have tough skin and don't let the bad times get you down. All right, I think we're running out of time. Um, thank you guys so much. I will try to make another video. There are some questions that I didn't get to answer, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was fun and useful. And um, oh, just one quick note. I had to censor part of the breasts of this video because I read the YouTube policies and they actually don't allow nudity even in art. So I really apologize. But if you would like to see the uncensored version, feel free to visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash happydartist. Thank you, and I love you, and bye!